Hey guys, it's Anmar Ash here. Uh, this is my first discussion video, just general topics. Um, so I had asked you guys what you wanted to hear me talk about, and you guys had asked me to discuss the social stigmas surrounding lewd art and BDSM culture. So uh, I guess uh, one of the first things that I think about when I think about uh, lewd art is, and the stigmas surrounding that is I think of people that say, uh, you know, all people that do that are creeps or are, you know, molesters or nefarious, like they're really bad people. And I obviously disagree with that, <laughs> uh, being a lewd artist. Uh, I will say that I think there are good and bad people in every community, so I'm not going to say like, oh, every one of us is a saint, because that's, you know, that can't be true. but. I would say the majority of people that do loot art are just really normal people. Uh, they're probably a lot more average than you would think. Um, you know, uh, another thing that I hear too is that the they only draw lewds because drawing like their safe for work art that doesn't sell, but lewds sell. And I would. You know, I, I kind of disagree with that too, is I, I think most people that draw lewd art do it because they really do like it, uh, not because it's the only thing that'll get them money and they can't get a real job or something, because you know, it, it can be a real job uh, if you if you want it to be. So, uh, oh, and the other thing too about, um, you know, the, uh, you know, like, oh, everyone's a pervert when they do that, and no. Uh, people that draw not safe for work art, they do it because you know, it, it gets out all, everything in their head, like, you know, you have all these ideas swimming around, whatever, uh, so even though you, you might be drawing, like, really bad things, lewd things, you know, gory things, what have you, no matter what you're drawing, you're getting it all out of your system, you know, you're kind of, you know, you're releasing yourself, whatever, uh, it doesn't mean that if you didn't draw it you would do it or it doesn't mean that you know you draw it and you go and do these things like no it's just you know it's you these people are you know people that do this kind of stuff they're they're pretty average they're just you know their their work might seem crazy but they're not crazy you know so <laughs> those are kind of I think the biggest stigmas there is is that that type of stuff so uh, then you get a lot of that kind of stuff with uh, like BDSM or kink culture too is you know the stigmas on that is you know again you know all these people are they're creeps they're molesters you know they're they're bad people uh, they you know all that kind of stuff and I, I disagree with that too um, I think that you know that there's a lot of planning and consent that needs to go <laughs> into BDSM uh, you know, a lot of people don't, don't think about that, I guess, if they're not in the community, but there is so many talks about consent or, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, unless you're in the community, I guess, it might seem that that's not the case, because, you know, take, for example, like, someone doing, like, a, a, like, a rough sex or, like, a rape scene or something, someone would say, oh, well, that's right, but it's like, you know, no, they've probably discussed this for, you know, an hour or more, maybe days or weeks of planning to make sure that everyone involved is cool with what's going on. You know, it's just, it's that behind the scenes stuff that you don't see, uh, you know, and especially too with the shit like Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, it just, that kind of stuff is so inaccurate <laughs> of what the actual community and like what it's like, it just, it, it gives a really bad name uh, and I think that's where a lot of that kind of stigma comes from is just people not looking into it not knowing it because you know I, I don't expect the average person to like oh yes I'm gonna research every little thing that I don't understand like people don't do that <laughs> not generally speaking so I don't expect that they would do that for the kind of cultures that I'm in and the you know the kind of hobbies that I have uh, but that is where kind of like the stigmas lies when people don't understand it or they get the wrong idea you know, and especially to, um, you know, every group has a really vocal minority, and <laughs> that can be in any community, okay? You get that in, like, politics, you get that in, uh, like, fandoms, you get that with, like, sports, you know, uh, it just, I guess anything. You get, you get people that are just shouting and screaming over everyone, and then, you know, there's, like, the 99% the of us also in that community that are like, 
oh my god, that's not how I feel about this. Oh no, why are they saying this? They're giving us such a bad name. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think that, you know, it, people that aren't within these communities, they'll hear, they'll, they'll hear this like really vocal group and they'll be like, oh, whoa you know, these are awful people, or, oh, whoa, you know, every one of them wants this, you know, that this person is talking about, and it's not like that, um, but that's where a lot of those stigmas really come from, and it's just, it's unfortunate, but that's just, that's how it is, that's how every community is, is there's always those people like that, so, um, I think that's probably, you know, like, the the major points. I guess uh, one thing too I wanted to mention is I think I think it's really interesting uh, like the BDSM style I see is going you know well and lewd art too is is kind of permeating a little bit to like the mainstream uh, like a lot of artwork that you see uh, is like you know really beautiful women and things like that uh, you know or just kind of like sexual in nature like especially like pinups and things like that is someone might see a pinup and not think, oh, there's a nasty artist, <laughs> uh, you know, or an artist that draws uh, sex, you know, they, they don't view it like that, it's just, oh, there's a pinup. Uh, even though, you know, it can, sometimes they can be pretty sexual in nature, uh, so that's kind of interesting. And then uh, a lot of, like, the fashion that I'm seeing is, uh, you know, I'm seeing a lot of, like, straps lately and, like, leather, sometimes even, like, latex or, like, PVC stuff, which you know, <laughs> it's really, really interesting because that's kind of, that's very kink heavy. And I'm not saying like, oh yeah, everyone that uh, <laughs> wears that kind of stuff is, you know, into kink stuff. Uh, I mean, they might be, but they might just also really like fashion. Who, who knows? Uh, but it is really interesting to see these things. And, you know, hey, maybe that'll make people research more into these kinds of things. And then uh, they won't have so many stigmas about them. But, you know, I think that's really hopeful thinking. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on it. If you want me to get more in depth into specifics on uh, stigmas or like, you know, like subsects of the like BDSM community or like lewd art communities, something like that, you'd need to like ask me specific questions about it and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. Um, I do plan to make a Q&A video, kind of in an informal style like this where I'm just talking to the camera. So. Uh, if you have any questions for me at all, uh, either about this or, like, anything, really, um, then go ahead and comment on this or DM me or, you know, whatever. And then, too, if you like this video and you want me to make more of these, like, topic-style videos where it's just kind of me chatting about it, uh, go ahead and, like, let me know what you'd want to hear me talk about, uh, and I'd consider making another video like this. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Alright, see ya.